Hello, my name is Scott Kruger, and I'm a developer on the Cloud Big Data team here at Rackspace. Today I'm here to speak with you about using Tableau Desktop to connect to a Cloud Big Data Hadoop cluster. Now I'm going to be using a Mac, but you can find instructions on how to do this on Windows and Linux, as well as the instructions for a Mac using the link in the video description. Cloud Big Data clusters include various services provided by the Hortonworks data platform. For the purposes of this demo, we are interested in a service called Hive, which is a data warehouse built on top of Hadoop that is designed to be used with extremely large data sets. Tableau has built-in support for Hive data sources, as long as you have Hortonworks' Hive ODBC driver installed. I have already created a Hadoop cluster called Tableau in the Dallas region. If we click on the services link right here, you can see that I've chosen a stack that already includes Hive, among other things. Hive includes a number of components, but the one we're interested in here is called Hive Server 2, which you can find running on the Gateway node. If you look down here in the Gateway node and click on the components, you can see that Hive Server 2 is running right here. Now, you might think that you can plug this information directly into Tableau and get started. However, that's not the case. In order to secure your data from intruders, we use a firewall to block external access to Hive as well as the other services on your cluster. So, how can you connect to Hive from your computer? Well, the easiest way is to set up an SSH tunnel. For those who don't know, SSH is a technology that allows you to log into servers remotely so that you don't have to be physically present. SSH is running on all the nodes of your cluster, and since you actually had to set up an SSH key in order to create your cluster in the first place, you should already have SSH access. The basic idea behind an SSH tunnel is that you assign a port on your computer that will be forwarded via an open SSH connection to a port on a remote server. This is also called port forwarding and allows you to essentially trick the server into thinking that the traffic from your computer is actually coming from inside the cluster. Now most Mac and Linux computers will already have SSH installed, so you shouldn't have to worry about installing anything else. However, if you want to make your experience more pleasant, I recommend that you install the Cloud Big Data Python client, which we call a Lava client. If you have Python and the pip package manager installed, you can install it just simply by typing pip install lava client into your terminal application, which I can do right here. You can see that I already have it installed. Now let's set up your SSH tunnel. You will need the following information, which you can get from the Rackspace MyCloud website you've logged into, which you can see right here. First, you'll need your account username, which is what you log in with your cluster ID, which is at the bottom of the page under additional information. You'll need the identifier for the region in which your cluster is located. Mine's in Dallas, which is identified by DFW. You'll need your account number, which is also known as a tenant ID, which you can find on the MyCloud page in the upper right corner by clicking on your account name. Lastly, you will also need your API key, which you can also find by clicking on your account name in the upper right corner but then clicking account settings, and then under login details, you can find your API key next to API key by clicking show. As I mentioned earlier, you installed an SSH key onto your cluster when you created it. This is the key that should be used to create the tunnel. Most people will already have their computer set up to do this automatically, but if you're having trouble with this step, please contact us for more assistance. Now I've set up some variables to contain my account information so that I don't give anything sensitive away, but don't be confused by that. When you see me use variables, which are just text that begin with a dollar sign, you can just use your account information directly. Now, let's open up a terminal to make sure that all the account information is correct by listing all the clusters that you've already created. Now, we run the lava command and make sure to include your API key, your tenant ID, your user account name, and the region. And you can run the clusters list command. Now, when I run that, you'll see that the cluster that I created earlier is listed here, along with the uh, cluster ID, which you can see is the same as the one is, that is listed on the MyCloud page. Now, uh, if you get any errors, you may have entered your information incorrectly, so please check again. Now, let's set up the SSH tunnel by using the SSH tunnel cluster command. So, the Hive server runs on the gateway node uh, on port 10,000. I'm going to forward all traffic to there from port 9999 on my machine. So let's go ahead and enter in this SSH tunnel command. Now the first thing you'll need to enter in is the cluster ID, followed by the local port on our machine, that's 9999, and then the port on the remote machine, which is 10,000. Now next we need to tell the client which server we want to connect to. 
Now, you could just tell it to go to the gateway because we know the Hive server is already there. But to make things a little easier, you can just tell it which component you're looking for. Now, the component is Hive server, just like we saw earlier on the MyCloud account. So if I go ahead and run this, we'll see that our SSH tunnel has been successfully created. It'll give you the information for the ports you're using, as well as what machine you're connecting to. Now, the next thing we need to do here is enter the information in Tableau. Now, go ahead and open up Tableau Desktop, and on the left-hand side here, under Connect, click More Servers, and then Hortonworks Hadoop Hive. You'll get this dialog that asks for more information, so enter in the following. Under Server, type localhost. Under Port, change to 9999, which is the local port. Change the type to Hive Server 2. Change authentication to username. And under username, type in hue. Next, hit OK. And let's see what happens. OK, as you can see here, a Tableau accepted our information, and we are connected to our Hive data source. And if I hadn't created any tables, you could make some queries against this data source. So that about wraps up this video. Now, if you're using Windows, or if, say, you didn't want to install the Lava Client, we have further instructions, again, in the link given in the video description. If you have any other questions, or just want to know more about Cloud Big Data at Rackspace, please feel free to visit us at rackspace.com. Thanks.